Hey, kid, Howard Reitman. Look, you know who I am? That's my wall of fame. Work with everyone. Tell him, Jack. Mr. Reitman's been directing since 67. He's incredible. They call him Mr. Hollywood. Well, thanks, Sarah. You're adorable. And handsome. Enough, Sarah. Jack, coffee. Yes, and sir. ring Murphy at Pyramid. Yes, Sarah, go with him. Got it. What is she? Anyway, you've heard of <sighs> Night Avenger, right? Huge comic book. Well, we're making that. Fans screamed for it for years, but it was trapped in development hell. But when I told Pyramid I wanted it, they jumped at the chance. I don't even get paid to work. Murphy on the line, sir. Great. Tell him I'll call him back in 40 seconds. You've got a decent resume. Aftershock, Overdrive, whooping too. Right, that Baxter screw up and his friends. What a mess. Can't believe it grossed 200 mil. Mr. Reitman's last film grossed 600. That's true, sir. She's great with numbers. Wardrobe's got a problem with the latex suit, sir. Too much room in the. I'm too busy for that. Tell him to use your socks. What? Bottom line, everybody owes me favors. Make me happy, I'll make sure you're known as the best in the world. Let me down, and well, Jack here, he was directing summer blockbusters before he got on my bad side. But now we get along splendidly, right, Jack? You're incredible, Mr. Reitman. See you on set. I'll tell you what, kid. You've come a this long way. This is Kevin, Gamertag Mandel, and I'm bringing you part 23 of my Stuntman Ignition Let's well Play, and we're into Night Avenger, which is the Batman esque movie. And it's my favorite thing to do in the game, and it's one that I can do really well on as well. I, I don't know if it's just because I get super Batman y when I'm playing this one, or just because of how awesomely action y it is, but it is definitely the best movie with the best scenes and the best stunts and just awesome vehicles to be driving all the time. And it's just one of the most fun ones to play. Because as awesome as it is, like in the Dukes of Hazard one, to be making those crazy stunts like they do in Dukes of Hazard, it's just just like why playing the Batman games is awesome. You're just like, I am this awesome guy who is who is Batman. <laughs> Being Batman is always awesome. In fact, you can check it out. So right off the bat, we get to start on their version of the Bat Cycle, which is pretty great. It's a little more solid than a lot of the other motorcycles, so it gets rid of a lot of the troubles like that those ones have, or... Not really troubles, but the difficulties using them poses. So this one has a lot of turns and stuff, but this, like the other motorcycles, don't seem to handle like 180s as well as this one does, or at least I can't do the other motorcycles as easily as I do on this one. There, I just you'll see it. I think I'm just barely missed like a thing to keep my street go string going on a little later, and they're always just like a split second before the next stunt. Which is really just an easy thing to correct, and you know, if I wanted to try it again, it would be pretty easy to do. And like, I would have been able to <laughs> already go on the right side of the truck. But for these ones, I really wanted to keep going as fast as I could, and I do get a lot of them in the first or second take until I hit one that just gave me so many troubles. But we'll get to that later. But here in the beginning, I know, I know this scene. I'm on the bad cycle, and the next one I'm on the bad cycle too, and that one's a little. A little rougher. I, well, I mess up, but I end up getting a higher score the second time, so it's all or than I do on this one. But there, like that shit's awesome. Like I just jump off the motorcycle and let it blow up to crash that truck, which is a pretty great way to end a scene, no matter what. Especially with the way that guy lands, like the super action hero pose, going down one knee with like, his fist on the ground. That's just, that's just badass. Can't argue with that. And just like the way that one starts, you jump through the the middle of a helicopter and go out the other side, that's just awesome too. <laughs> Which is what makes this movie so much fun, it's just the stunts you're doing are ridiculous. And here in this one, All right, you'll there's like the one mistake in the first run first that's pretty, pretty brutal, but uh, the second run through is a five star showing, so that's pretty good. And that's what I, I kind of like about this Batman one, is that it goes through these ones fast. Like, even though I'm going to basically get three whole runs in on this one, and that's all within, like, a s little over a six-minute video, including listening to the director talk at the end. And that's just because while it's shorter, it packs in a ton of stuff for you to do. Oh, never mind. I guess I do it three times. I like, mess up there already. But there are a couple of scenes, like, uh... I think the next scene, I'm driving the Joker car up there. Or the Joker character car. I don't know. Big Top is what his name is in this one. So I'm driving Big Top's car, and you got to go around here. And just these pillars give me a ton of trouble, uh, especially with Big Top, because the way you're supposed to drive, just see it like right there, I'm supposed to be on the left side. Oh, I guess I do mess up a lot in this one. 
But just because, yeah, like you have to weave in and out of these pillars, and there's like, why, why can't I just be on one side all the time? But you just got to do what the game tells you to do anyway, <laughs> and just you learn it. But like these ones are so much shorter because there's just so much stuff happening in like a short time, and it's just it's not like in a kind of frustrating way, which the James Bond one can be at times. It's in the more like, look at all this crazy, awesome shit you're doing, and once you're once you're done, like, you can watch. This one's just so much more exciting, and everything's so hectic, and you really feel, like, even a bigger sense of accomplishment rather than having a lot of times between, like, the big, or what the director tells you to do stunts and getting those right, and just, like, kind of trying to keep the string alive with other stuff you're doing. Whereas in this one, it's always stuff you're doing. You gotta be on. You're driving all this. Like, this is always cool. Even if, like, anytime you're driving and like swerving around traffic is badass and it helps that you're in a motorcycle for this one like right here I think this is the end of this scene already like it's really short but there's a ton of stuff going on and you just have to be really quick on your reflexes and it just ends up looking pretty cool and I like how excited this the director gets when you get the five stars so that always makes it feel a little bit better as well and I'm sorry it took so long to get uh, this video up and the next one might take a while too because I'm trying to find a new place to live and then I'm going to have to move so but uh, I'll see what I can do about getting some more videos of this up before that goes on so I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back with some more sometime